Hi, I'm Raina Morgan with Thigh Health Tube. I'm visiting with Nina Dockery. She's an expert in the area of digestion and digestive enzymes. Where does digestion begin? Does it begin in the mouth with the chewing of food? Well, actually, it begins even before that. It begins in our brain when we smell those wonderful smells <laughs> that come from the kitchen or from the restaurant down the street. And our brain sends a signal to us saying, hmm, that sounds good, that smells good. And then our mouth does take over because we hear that, uh, that old phrase, uh, make something making your mouth water. Mm -hmm. That's right. because your mouth really is watering because the saliva begins to flow and the digestive enzymes that are in your mouth begin to work. Before you take your first bite of food. Before you ever take your first bite of food. Okay, so then after you take your first bite of food, what begins to happen then? Right. At that point, you begin to chew the food, which is a very, very important part of digestion. And along with that, your saliva releases salivary amylase, or tylen, which is the first enzyme that is involved in the digestion of carbohydrates, or the starches, mm -hmm. the breads, the rice, the, the good stuff, the potatoes that we <laughs> eat, <Okay>. the candy. <laughs> So that's, that's the enzyme that starts with the chewing. Right, right. Okay, what is the basic process of digestion? Ah, oh, well after it, 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 the food gets into our mouth and we start digesting it, digesting those carbohydrates, we then, after we have chewed, up, hopefully appropriately, which is very important, um, because so many of us anymore do not chew our food the way we should. We eat in a rushed, very yes, rushed fashion. we eat in a rush, and so our food isn't appropriately chewed. But if it is, then we swallow that food, and it goes down through our throat and into our stomach. And at that point, usually the food will, will sit there and begin to... Um, you know, slowly be digested again through salivary amylase that enters into the upper part of our stomach. Um, and so there's a little bit of a gastric lipase that begins to work at this point as well. And that all begins to work together for about 30 minutes to an hour. And then we get the signals from the hormones in our system to release gastric acid or hydrochloric acid. It's a very okay. strong acid. And at that point, the pH, the acidity of our, our stomach, drops considerably. And that drop in pH is very, very important because then an, an enzyme that begins the process of protein digestion is released. That's pepsin. And it works in that very low pH or, or high acidity of the stomach. So, so the amylase is in more in a, a, an alkaline pH? More of an alkaline. Really, it, it's slightly acidic. It's, it works in a pH of around 5, okay. which is in our mouth and upper part of our stomach. So a little bit higher. At the point that the pH is lowered by the gastric acid, then that salivary amylase no longer works. That, okay. that uh, disables it and that's when protein digestion begins. And that's pepsin. And that is pepsin. And so that the, um, the action of the hydrochloric acid to help break down the food, as well as the action of pepsin, then be really begins that process of protein digestion at that point. So that takes about 30 minutes after we've eaten and chewed our food thoroughly? And chewed our th food thoroughly, anywhere from 30 minutes to about an hour or a little bit more before then the food goes into the small intestine. Okay. And so after then this bolus of food, that's what it's called, goes into the small upper part of the small intestine, at this point bile acids are released um, and sodium bicarbonate is released through the action of our pancreas, which now releases pancreatic enzymes. This raises the pH again mm -hmm. of the system back up to around seven and a half. So now it does become alkaline. And at this point, the action of these pancreatic enzymes takes over pancreatic enzymes as well as some enzymes that are found in the small intestine itself and those complete, ideally, complete the process of digestion. At that point, mostly in the small intestine. There's a little bit that goes on through the action of bacteria in the lower intestine, mm -hmm. 
some colonic bacteria, do a little bit of fermentation, a little bit of digestion, but for the most part, digestion is complete and absorption occurs in the small intestine. So that's your basic digestion? That's your basic digestion. Okay, well thank you very much, Nina. Thank you. We'll visit again. Okay.